add it to web part zone 2. And there it is. So these two show up. So I can go back to design mode and move this over here. So all that works. So go into catalog. You imagine you could have a, a whole bunch of different web parts in here that you write yourself. This is where you could let the end users manage it. There are a couple of other pieces supported by uh, supported by the catalog. There's the import catalog part and page catalog part. Those are different ways for you to manage. Um, either you have a repository for catalog items or you can even upload your own catalog or web parts if your site supports it. You know, I'm going to make this calendar view a little bit smaller. I'll change the uh, formatting just to something simple. Now we should see all three columns show up here. This should look a little bit nicer. Ah, I'm still not getting it. Now yeah, that's fine. I know. I can edit the style sheet and change the default font to something a little bit smaller. And I think this will let us see all the columns on one page. Ah, still not getting it. That calendar is just big. Well, that's fine. Okay. So we've shown the design mode, the browse mode, which is the default, and the catalog mode, which allows you to add new web parts to your page. Let's go a little bit further and we'll make our little custom control right here. We'll make it so you can change it programmatically from this, uh, change it interactively from the, from the area on the right side here. So let's close all this down and back in design mode, I'm going to drop in a new thing called the editor zone. So inside the editor zone, there's other things that you can pull in there, including the Let's see, the layout, uh, let's see, the behavior editor. This allows you to change the description and some other information on there. There's a lot there. I don't want to show how all that works yet. We can also drag in the layout. And f two more, the appearance editor. I'll leave that one turned on. And finally, the property grid. So there's a collection of four different editors that you can use to change the configuration of one of your web parts. So there's a lot here to kind of get your head around, but here's what I'll do. I'm going to go back to our little addition control. I'm going to make it so it's programmable or changeable from the web page. And to do that, I'm going to drag in something that's we're going to change a property and it'll be this label right here. And we switch to source mode what we need to do is give our control a property. I will use the the new code expansion features in vb.net. So I'll type property and hit tab. And I get the whole syntax here for adding a new property. And this will be some kind of text. It'll be a string and we'll call this, I'll call it the title actually. Okay. So whenever the title is changed through this property, we want to change the label to text to whatever's passed in here. Now, in order for this property to be exposed and usable from our web page, I need to apply two properties. Web browsable. And the second one is personal, personalizable. Okay, so when we have those two properties now, if we go back to our application, remember we already, we've already added our addition, uh, web our addition web part to our page. I can save this and view it in a browser. And I keep forgetting to add the menu options here. So what we'll do, we'll take this catalog and copy it, paste it in. Now we're going to add an edit menu item. And we'll change the web part manager to switch our page over to edit mode. Okay, we have lots of modes here. So let's switch to edit mode. Now the page doesn't really change. What it does do, it adds an option here in the little drop-down called Edit. Now that, that makes the editor zone appear, and I can change a couple things like the title, my addition control, and apply that, and that changes there. And our little property here is enter two numbers. And let's just make sure it works. Uh, 5 plus 6 is not 10. All right, I have an off. I have some kind of math problem here, which is kind of amusing. Oh, I know what I did. I'm adding this number twice. 
Ah, look at that. All right, well, that's fine. Um, so now we can close out of this zone and restore this thing back to the browse mode. Now, the last thing I want to show you, if we go back to the design mode, if you want to reset everything so it's back to the way you have it designed originally, what we'll do is drag this link button on here and we'll have it reset the whole page back to normal. So I'll call it a reset. And the code for this guy is pretty simple. We're going to use this uh, personalization personalization administration uh, component and have it reset the state for, for this particular user. And then finally to get the page to refresh we'll just simply redirect back to ourself. So we'll bring this in a browser and so notice how the addition controls over here and the calendar and login. If I hit reset it restores it to my original layout with a login and calendar. So as you can see there's a lot here. You've got these four major modes where you can design and move the page around. You've got the catalog mode which right now is relatively simple but it does allow uh, allows you to uh, have a place where you can store all your different web parts and then you have a very rich way in order for you to edit the different properties on your uh, components. The final piece, I mean, there's a lot more here. You, you, you can use something called a connection zone to wire up controls so they can talk to each other and you have lots of different other uh, ways that you can really express your website using web parts. Well I hope you've enjoyed this demo of web parts and you find a way to use them in your next site.